Uh, students, whether I'm ad audible to you? Whether I'm uh, audible? Okay, uh, so the, uh, sorry for the inconvenience. Uh, okay, to go with uh, the topic again, uh, that is about the effect of air pollution. Uh, that was uh, in what happens uh, in the human beings that is the oxides of sulfur and nitrogen causes uh, uh, eye irritation, nasal irritation, chronic cough and bronchitis. Uh, that is uh, it can be uh, like wheezing and with the continuous cough remains whereas in uh, uh, oxides of sulfur and nitrogen uh, reacts with the reacts with the rainwater and causes the acid rain which I have already uh, explained it to you how the, from the industries and from the automobile, these um, uh, these gases have been emitted out, uh, and the dry deposition takes place, which gets uh, combined with the water molecules. Then uh, the wet deposition, where it comes down, is a rain, sleet, and snow. Okay, to now to go in with uh, the control of the air pollution. Uh, so about the control of air pollution, uh, you all agree with me, right? That is, it's very important to control the air pollution because uh, air is something very important uh, for uh, living uh, organism, whether it is human beings, whether it is the plants, whether it is the animals, where it is very important to inhale uh, inhale that uh, pure air or uh, unpolluted air. It is very important, right? So some of these, um, uh, some of these uh, urban cities where the, there is a uh, where they are highly polluted or uh, because of these industries, because of the automobiles and different uh, other different other uh, things which lead to the air pollution or the uh, or mixing of the pollutants in the uh, pure air. Okay, where pure air takes place. So what is important is controlling of the air pollution is very important. Uh, government has been taken where, um, much of the measures over here uh, to control the air pollution. One among them, you must be uh, aware about the pollution test or the auto fuel policy, which has been laid, laid out by the government. Uh, that is the vehicular air policy in many cities in India, which is very important for them to do it because to control the air pollution. The, because of the use of the leaded petrols, that is uh, leaded petrols in a sense, not a pure petrol, which has been diluted with the other uh, things such as lead or other uh, or other chemicals, which has been diluted with it, which can cause uh, humongous harm more than the uh, chemicals which uh, more than the uh, petrol the pure petrol or the diesel can do to the earth okay the leaded petrols or other such uh, chemicals which are being used in uh, these petrols or diesels and automobiles in the industries can cause more of or a larger amount of damage to the air than the petrol or the diesel can do to it okay so it is very important to control this or to control the air pollution okay so now coming to the first one that is you all are aware about it i know that is what is electrostatic precipitator okay can you see here the electrostatic precipitator uh, image on the screen so what does this electrostatic precipitator do so it removes about 99% of 99% of particulate matter present in the exhaust from the thermal plant. So what happens is, uh, if you have um, visited any thermal plants or any such industries, you must have seen that they um, they leave out these uh, um, harmful gases just in the air. Okay, just in the air without uh, you know, 
without uh, cleaning it or without purifying it or either uh, without uh, removing out the uh, particles from it the harmful particles from it so what it happens it leads to uh, air pollution it leads to the different effects of the uh, different effects on the plants on the uh, human beings uh, on the animals as well as you know so to control it something is necessary and that one is electrostatic precipitator okay this electrostatic precipitator which is there here in the image it is used in the thermal plants okay it is used in the thermal plants where uh, from where or from uh, the, from where the harmful gases have been uh, left out or harmful gases have been emitted out okay so what happens is when the combustion takes place or the burning takes place which leaves out the uh, which leaves out these harmful gases this precipitator this precipitator removes out harmful uh, harmful particles 99% of the harmful particles from it from the particular gas and a clean gas and a clean gas is been allowed to go out in the atmosphere understanding what happens here the, what does the precipitator do it removes about 99% particulate matter present in the exhaust because after the burning whatever the exhaust is been uh, which is been allowed to go out what happens here is from the thermal plants this precipitator when it comes to the precipitator what happens is it removes out the 99% harmful particles from it 99% harmful particles from it from that particular gas whether it can be any such gases uh, which is mixed mixture of gases which has been left out what they do is they remove out about 99% of particles from it and a clean air is allowed to go out in the atmosphere a clean air is allowed to go out of the atmosphere now when a clean gas is allowed uh, to go in the atmosphere basically what they are trying to do is to cut down the air pollution okay to cut down the air pollution which can go into become smog acid rain affect the human health affect the animals affect the plants as well okay so what happens here is the electrostatic precipitators are used in the thermal plants thermal plants where the combustion uh, where the combustion or the burning takes place where from where these harmful gases have been left out what it does is this electrostatic precipitator where you can see here in the image uh, or in the picture what it does is 99% of the particulate matter the small particles or the harmful particles present in that particular gas is been left out okay uh, present in the particular gas which is uh, which has come as exhaust which has come as the exhaust means the uh, gases which are, has to be left out in uh, left out or been uh, in the environment or uh, it has been uh, un it is been unused or uh, unuseful so these exhaust gases which have been left out from this thermal plants what this precipitator do is uh, it takes out the it removes out the 99% of particulate matter present in it and the clean air is allowed to go out from the thermal plant in the atmosphere in the atmosphere or in the environment okay so electrostatic precipitator remember this note down this point and take what does the electrostatic precipitator does it it removes 99% particulate matter present in the exhaust from the thermal plant from the thermal plant where the where the exhaust has been removed out from the thermal plant this precipitator take out the Uh, particles harmful particles from it and the cleaned gas is allowed to go into the atmosphere okay so next one is about the scrubber next one is about the scrubber scrubber is something which you can see um, see in this picture here here can you see here in this picture here some uh, it is known as a scrubber what is actually does what this scrubber actually do is or where it is used okay so it is used in automobiles okay 
It is used in automobiles that is in cars, uh, used in automobiles for reducing emission of harmful gases. To reduce the emission or the moving out of the or uh, moving out of the such harmful gases from the automobiles. Okay, scrubber. Scrubber. What it does is. Scrubber, what it does is, uh, it is used in automobiles for reducing emission of harmful gases. Emission of harmful gases into the environment is, uh, it is being controlled by this scrubber, which controls the, which controls the uh, emission of harmful gases, which controls the uh, emission of harmful gases. So. What this actually the scrubber do? It removes the gas like sulfur dioxide, exhaust passed through a spray of water or lime. So what what happens in the scrubber is um, it has it is uh, it removes gases like sulfur dioxide, okay, sulfur dioxide and exhaust whatever the emitted harmful gas, okay, the combusted harmful gases or uh, has been emitted out. Uh, passes through a spray of water or lime. Okay, passes through a spray of water or lime. Okay, passes through a spray of water or uh, water or lime, and then a clean or a particulate uh, removed air is been passed out, or a gas is passed out. The clean air has been passed out. Exhaust passes through a spray of water or lime. Okay, spray of Water or lime, and the clean clean air has been passed out. Okay, or a clean air has been passed out. So what does this scrubber do? Is this scrubber uh, helps in the uh, removes gases like removes gases like removes gases like Sulfur dioxide, which uh, which uh, exhaust passes through a spray of water or lime, it is used in automobiles for reducing emission of harmful gases. For reducing emission of harmful gases, then the next one which I have already explained to you that is auto fuel policy. Okay, auto fuel policy is. Uh, to steadily reduce the sulfur and aromatic uh, sulfur and aromatic control in the petrol and diesel fuels, so uh, they have been mixed with a different uh, sulfur and aromatic compounds. Okay, they have been mixed with it and been uh, used in this uh, in vehicles, which has to be controlled. So um, the government of India to control the air pollution has uh, laid out a roadmap to cut down the vehicular air uh, to cut down the vehicular air pollution in many such cities, so that the control of air pollution is uh, can be done, or the control or the air pollution remains in control in uh, many such urban. Cities or the industrial areas where large number of where large number of such gases have been emitted out in the atmosphere. So the control of air pollution is uh, done by electrostatic precipitator, which are used in thermal plants. What does this precipitator do? Is it removes out 99 percent of particulate matter present in exhaust from the thermal plant. What it does is it uh, takes out, it takes up or removes out uh, or consumes up about 99% of particulate matter present in the exhaust that is from the combusted gas in from the thermal plant and a clean gas and a clean gas has been allowed to go out in the atmosphere. Now the scrubber, what is uh, what it does is used in automobiles for reducing emission of harmful gases. So scrubber is nothing but which is uh, which is used to control uh, control the emission of harmful gases, uh, which removes the gases like sulfur dioxide. Next one is auto fuel policy. The government of India laid out a roadmap to cut down the vehicular air policy in many cities in India. So I'm going to stop here uh, the today's class uh, where we have learned about uh, the. 
effect of air pollution in plants, effect of air pollution in human beings, and how does the acid rain takes place, and what are the different controls of air pollution, where you have to remember about electricity precipitator, scrubber, and auto fuel policy. Okay, so these are the three things. If there are any doubts, please put down in the chat box. If there are any doubts, okay, go through these points, go through the points again, uh, read it in the, uh, read it, try to understand it, if, try to understand it, if there is any doubt, please ask me in the next class, okay, thank you.